is James. Hello, mate. <laughs> ah, there you Okay, James, I think it's time um, we just had a little chat about this staircase because we've had a few comments about it 
And I'd just like to address those comments because it's fair enough, people have been making staircases for centuries and mm. people think there's one God-given way of making staircases and nothing else can be done. But I noticed, okay, Surrey staircases, it's a little bit unconventional in his way of making them because he didn't use wedges. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Uh, I quite like it. It's going to upset some people, I know that. If you think about it, the wedges that are made, well, say, say for example you've got a softwood tread, a softwood string and a softwood wedge, they're all going to shrink, all of them. And you know, the point of the wedge is you can tighten it up at a later date, but they're glued in as well. So if the glue hasn't broken down by that time, then you've got to try and break yeah. it to, to tighten it up. And also you've got to remove the plastic ball backing off the staircase or whatever else, in this it's, case fire ball off yeah. the back and whatever. Yeah, yeah? But fortunately, if, if it's in a situation where it's open, which is mm. highly unlikely nowadays, mm. because for fire regulation, especially on our loft conversion, it's got to be boarded with fireboard and even downstairs uh, they're, they're asking for sound insulation underneath staircases as well so yeah, yeah it's going to be a pain getting all that backing off just to tighten them wedges up so I quite like that we don't have wedges as Mark explained from Surrey staircases that they just leave a one millimetre gap just to, enough to be able to slide the the tread in with the expanding polyurethane and it just it really does just you know, tightens it right up. The, scr mm. the screws are just there to hold it in position whilst it's whilst yeah. it's going on. Yeah, this is the important thing: is that people look at that screw and they think that screw is doing a structural job, but actually, once that poly polyurethane glue has expanded around the whole of the housing, mm. on on all sides, you know, it's there, isn't it? And and obviously, the screw stops it spreading apart. What we would have maybe done with clamps some years yeah. ago, if you were doing it in a joinery shop, you might have got a couple of sash clamps out. And then, in fact, you'd need more than two because it would spread in the middle, wouldn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> the polyethane glue can push the you know the strings apart slightly. Yeah, to like. a degree. Yeah. So you stick a screw in there to hold it in position while the polyurethane glue goes off, which is five minutes. Yeah. After that, you could actually take those screws out if you. But why bother? Yeah, there's no point. You just leave them in there, you know. Yeah. So. Um, unless you've got a market for second-hand screws. So that's the first thing. So so with that, with those treads being completely surrounded with polyurethane all mm. round on the housing, like you say, it's only a one mil gap, so yeah. it doesn't spread out that far. Um, you reckon the squeaking is a thing of the past, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we've we've been using uh, Mark for quite a few years now, um, and we've done a lot of loft conversions uh, using this exact method, in fact with the MDF treads as well, which a lot of people seem a bit surprised about that we're using MDF. It's not an inferior product, it's, you know, in many ways it's, it's superior to... Yeah, well, to, it's stable, to, isn't it? It's exactly. Not, it's, it's not going to shrink. No. It's in one piece, so when you take something like that kite, which yeah. is quite big, if you did that in softwood, you would be doing it with stuff which was basically glued up out of several pieces of softwood otherwise if, yeah. if you've got a bit that wide how wide would that be that would be oh it's a good you wouldn't get it would five six hundred mil to start with yeah. you're never going to get it so so you, you've got a choice of either putting several bits of softwood in there glued up yeah which could you know shrink and, and crack whatever crack and creak it's either that or ply i suppose yeah it? ply is a bit of a problem because then you've got to nose it off how how thick is that mdf uh 25 mil so it's 25 mil mdf and got a uh, riser underneath it yeah. The final sin, if you like, is that he put it in from the bottom up, yeah. Yeah? which a lot of people go, oh, you always start from the top. And I must admit, you, you know, there are advantages to starting from the top in mm -hmm. as much as you don't have to butcher that newel post when you get to the top. It's just yeah. in there, isn't it? You know, uh, but in this case, there wasn't room to swing a cap. Not really. Top it's, it's pretty tight. The post would have had to have been butchered if you like yeah. anyway because I put the trimmer in the wrong place oh okay you know I was I was out by about 18 to 20 mil oh all right um, so but, it was getting over a problem there yeah so it was my it was my fault you seem to have got over that problem with yeah. that you faced off that what's that bit of MDF there the MDF there yeah all faced off so it's all quite neat there's no, no huge gaps in there. No, it's all And good. can you just give that new post a wiggle for me just to check it's... Well, give it more than a wiggle. Only a wiggle, mate. Don't pull it down. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that. that's as solid as a Well, we're tied in. This is, these are housed in here and here. Yeah. And it's screwed through. It's all glued in. It, you know, and it's... it's how did you... Oh, come on. You're, you're just telling me they're housed in, those handrails. Yeah. How did you do that? Because those posts were fixed. 
Yeah, they were. Um, well, spread th the, these two I had to spread apart. Yeah. But I mean, they go in about the top and bottom. You're probably looking about twelve to fifteen millimeters. Oh, so each. it's not a tenon. It's not a full tenon. No, it's just fully housed. So ra it? rather than a you know a long tenon, obviously I couldn't get a long tenon in through there no. and then put a, a peg through the side. Yeah. So so I've housed fully the whole thing and then screwed through from the either end of the post yeah. to to pull it inside. But yeah, they're fully housed in, so that if there was any shrinkage in the length, it's never going to yeah. cause a gap to create that. Uh, yeah, that's clever, actually. That's good. And the other thing is draw doweling. And I know draw doweling, the reason they use draw dowels in the old post was because they couldn't clamp yeah. the string to the post because the string's on an angle. There wasn't a clamp that exactly. was possible to do it. Yeah. So, so you had to draw dowel. So why don't you draw dowel on these? Uh, we don't need to. <laughs> It's similar to the way the treads go into the string. We we can it's cut so tightly, and we're using the polyurethane glue, and we we can put one the bottom in, and we can put a screw in the bottom, pull the top over, screw at the top, and then it's it's in there. And once that glue's gone off, it's not going to come out. So you could dowel the screw heads if you wanted. You could, yeah, you could do that. And and you know, honestly, with with the draw doweling, you you couldn't put too much pressure on anyway because it would just split the end of the tenon mm, out inside. That's right. Yeah. So it's, you, you couldn't really like you know hammer them home massively to get a load of pressure on it. Um, yeah. So it, it works. You know, we can make it look like that if we put a, like you said, yeah. put a plug in it if yeah. we really wanted to, but it's keep, all being keep, painted. Keep, keep the purest tappy, yeah, a couple of dowels in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, mate, that's, I think that clears up some stuff. I mean, yeah. let's just say there are different ways of doing the job and yeah. respect to the guys who just want to carry on putting the wedges in, but yeah, you can move forward with modern materials, yeah. hell of a lot better than PVA, because oh, PVA yeah. can crack out, can't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. No, I'd, I'd put my money, honestly, if I was a gambling man, I'd put some money on this staircase not creaking. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll join you because, like I say, we've been using them for years now and we've been back to a few and they just don't creak. They really don't. I mean, there's, there's no reason for them to. Mm.